Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Sing Ventures. Let's talk Microsoft 365. Today I am going to start a new series called Microsoft 365 Basics in which will be I will be discussing some basic features of uh, of different topics in Microsoft 365. The first video is about SharePoint and how to create a site collection, what are the templates available, how to create them, access and permissions and how to manage site collections. Before I start, I would suggest you to subscribe to my channel Sing Ventures and also connect with the Twitter, LinkedIn if you have further questions. So let's get started. So if I, um, this is the SharePoint landing page. Uh, your organization might not have a landing page like this, but if you access it from Waffle from here and click on SharePoint, you will end up on a page like this. Uh, it might be customized from your organizations if they have done it, but the default looks like this, in which you can see news from the different sites, frequent sites, recent, um, following, uh, saved for later, uh, and you can add some things on your own. But we are not focusing on that, and what we are focusing is on left side, we have create site. And this option is not might not be enabled for you in your organization, because generally, organization will disable this option, as users might create a lot of sites which they not, do not need, and generally they have a process to go through a service desk or through a fill a form and then the site is created automatically or manually depending on how your organization works. So in, if you choose this option, you have two templates, a team site and a communication site. A team site is a place where you share documents and have conversations around this and you can keep track of events and manage tax, tasks also in that. Um, and it is always connected to Microsoft 65 group. Um, you can imagine whenever Microsoft Teams uh, is create a team is created for Microsoft Teams. It also has a uh, site in the back, you know, and also connected to Microsoft 60 Group. So it is very similar to that where you store your documents. And the second one, we have a communication site, which is a dynamic, beautiful content to people organization. So basically, it's to for publishing information and not sharing documents typically, you know, or you are working on documents together. So you in this site, you will have uh, option to publish information and share with others people and they can come here to understand and track on keep track on projects and everything so these are the two templates i am not going to take it step further but I, what i'm going to show is about sharepoint admin center so if you are an admin you have access to the admin center and then you have site under sites active sites and in this you have have option also to create and and Typically, an admin will get a request from the end user to create a site, and then he can start creating it. A lot of people have used scripts to do it, but I'm going to show the traditional way of using the UI in this case. Please note that the admin center is not accessible by everybody, and only a few people in organization might have it. But I'm going to explain it. What is What are the different templates we have and how to manage? Once a site collection is created, a site collection admin will be assigned to a person uh, or a couple of person at least and they will be able to manage the site which I will take it further. So let's look into the create and you will see the, the very similar options as we saw before. Uh, we have create a site uh, for team site, communication site and there are some other options. So if I look into this, we have team site, document center, enterprise wiki, publishing portal and more templates. So these are um, the other templates which are also available, which is are kind of a legacy template. So these are not modern, actually. You can see team side, classic experience, developer side. So these you might have seen typically on an on-premise version or a SharePoint, uh, earlier SharePoint online versions in which these sites were available for us to get. Although they are available for us to be created, I highly recommend not to use these ones because these are not modern in nature and will not have advanced features which you will find in the modern sites. So if you have to create sites, I would say that we should choose a team site or a communication site. There are other com like new crisis communication sites available in response to COVID-19. And this was recently added uh, when the COVID was started and uh, you have need to have, um, so let me open this. And this will take you to a lookbook in which a lot of other templates are available for you to, to have a look. And this I have al already explained in one of my blogs. And I'll be posting link to that in the description of the video, which you can have a look. 
so let's create a team site basically um, here and there is you can see here I can select what kind of design so if the site if previous team sites have been saved as templates those can be used to create um, new team site collections also so demo for so I give a name group email address as I said um, it will have a, a connected group created in the back right so that's why it also needs group email address, site address, group owner. So I will have my name as here. And you can have different languages created and selected here also, right? So, but in this case, I'll be, and privacy, only members can access this site or you can make this public also. So basically you can choose that this site is accessible to everybody or to only the members of the sites, you know? So that is what, how we can do. And typically you should also write uh, description and time zone it's important to select the correct one because then it will display display the time zone the timings in, in that zone you know so if you're not able to see I will move a bit here so you can see the, all the options yeah so I will say next now and then you can add additional owners or members the members are mem additional owners will have typically same access as the primary owner but the members will have less access than owners, uh, which I'll explain later also uh, about permissions. But here I'm not going to add more people here, but I'll say finish. So now you can see the site is created. So let's filter it on uh, date created, uh, new to older, and then it should show up on the top. I can click on the URL. So you can now see the site is created for me and it's a typical uh, team site, site collection in which I have home conversations, you know, and it will take me to my inbox. Basically, you know, um, so let it load. So as I said, a group is created associated with the with a particular team site right so it will have its own email box uh, which is a group connected box and you it is useful in certain situations that you can send email to this group and uh, it will be uh, the information will be saved as a conversation then we have of course the documents storage uh, in which you can actually store the documents and it can store any kind of documents and there are certain limitations but most most of the different types of documents can be stored and this will be accessed with the different other people, you know, who are accessing the uh, the uh, the team site. And here I will be going through the library in very detail later, so I'm not going to touch it right now. So that will be another blog. You can also see here the documents which are shared with us: a notebook, pages. So as we know, a site generally have list, libraries, pages. And that combines actually a team site, right? So the default is the home page, which we saw, right? So that is how you, you have it here, the home page. And you can add list, document library, page, news post, news link, plan, or app, other apps, you know. So that is how a team site is useful for you to organize your information and, uh, and take it further. Recycle bin is something which I will explain also as another video, but just um, to tell you that if you delete something in, in, in SharePoint, it will end up in recycle bin and it will stay there for, for a certain number of days, how your organization has set it up. Okay. And you can also see that this is a group connected uh, team. So you can actually add Microsoft Teams to collaborate. So you can add this private group or create a Microsoft team actually for your this private group. So if you have any existing, if you have already created a team site and you want to add it, so that is possible to do if you have you haven't started using, you know, uh, this. So what I want to show now is, as we said that we will cover, uh, so we have now covered templates available, how to create access and uh, where I will go now through access and permissions. Okay. So you can see we have site permissions here. So we have typically three types of uh, access levels, owners, members, and visitors. 
owners as you can imagine can be one or two people generally uh, who own the and they have complete access like a full control so they can do almost everything they can actually also delete the site and uh, they can um, add or add apps or those kind of things site members have less access than than them and they will have uh, basically kind of a edit access so they can edit documents you know uh, update documents uh, or metadata regarding documents or add uh, news posts or add uh, tasks uh, lists and these kind of things site visitors have the least access they can't do any change but they will be able to read and write uh, read everything not write sorry they will be able to read everything in in the this site here there are different other informations like change how members can share so control how things the site can be shared and how request to access works so when a sharing is done site member owners you can see who can share this uh, sites right site owners members with edit permissions only site owners so this is how you can choose whether you know how uh, it will be uh, when people share this site with other people how it should behave and if you look into advanced permission settings it will take you to the classic uh, experience in which i which is very diff, very similar to exactly how uh, uh, a typical uh, team site used to look in sharepoint on prem or earlier versions of sharepoint and here you can have create different other groups if you want to so basically by default these three groups are created but you can more create more groups according to your needs and then assign permissions to that also right and you can also say site collection administrator which is like a admin uh, the full admin also uh, so but i would suggest that not to touch this and use these groups to you know uh, for permission levels how to manage everything can be accessed from uh, um, let's go back to to the previous page let the icon come and here you can see we have different settings add a page add an app site contents now site contents is a view in which you can see what are the things available so we have a document library already created form templates style library site pages so i would say that the useful thing for us is site pages and documents these things we don't need to touch as a normal user and we don't need to you can also create sub site to sites which i will come later and you can also use see the site users so how many unique users site visits average time spent and all these information and which have been popular so the more you use this uh, the site you can able you are able to see the users so you can actually typically manage and see if your site has been used a lot or not you know which people are using it or not so that is a good information to have site information and here you can change the logo so if you have a logo for your site or you want to have the logo of your organization this is the place you can change you can also change the name of the site description um hub site association i will come later which i am not going to discuss and privacy as i said when we created we select a private you can choose public also if you want to see all the site settings in the traditional or the classic experience you can see click view all settings and there are a lot of other options which you can explore here which i am not going to go in detail right now if you have experience working with this before uh, you will be knowing a lot of uh, these options so i think this is a good overview of a site collection or team site in in sharepoint um i will be covering communication site uh, in another video actually also a bit because that's a typically um, another kind of a site So yeah hopefully you like this uh, new series and uh, and do subscribe to my channel Sing Ventures and also connect with me on Twitter and LinkedIn thank you